Well, uh, fine, I will make the final point very briefly, and that is, uh, so so what? Uh, uh, if I if everybody <laughs> accepted what I've said, isn't entering the imaginary community of John Caldegate still a waste of time in our present tires? Have I really defended uh, reading the novel? And my answer would be uh, partly a reference to the famous passage about ideology in Paul DeMann's Resistance to Theory, where he says what we call ide ideology is precisely the confusion of linguistic with material reality or reference with phenomenalism. Namely, ideology is a lie. In other words, it it's, looks like referential language, but it doesn't refer to anything. Like the verdict that says John Caldegate was guilty of bigamy. It's a, it's a, it's a reference linguistic, just doesn't happen to correspond to ph phenomenalism, meaning, I think, the real world, the outside real world. And then the man makes this very counterintuitive claim. It follows that more than other any other mode of inquiry, including economics, the linguistics of literariness, by which he means rhetorical reading, study of figurative language, is a powerful and indispensable tool indispensable tool in the unmasking of ideological aberrations, as well as a determining factor in accounting for their occurrence, not only identifying ideological mistakes, but also explaining how they come about, namely by the uh, 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 workings of, figurative, of the linguistics of literariness. Those who reproach literary theory says the man, for being oblivious to social and historical, that is to say, ideological reality, and that's a reproach often made uh, in the old, not so easy to make anymore of uh, the man or uh, Derrida or me, uh, of not being interested in history uh, and real social conditions. Those who reproach literary theory for being oblivious to social and historical, that is to say, ideological reality, are merely stating their fear at having their ideological mystifications exposed by the tool they are trying to discredit. In other words, they're afraid of theory because it might tell the truth about their own illusions. And then this amazing sentence, which, which we could spend another couple of days unraveling, they are, such people, in short, very poor readers of Marxist German ideology. It's, a, it's almost the only reference the man makes to Marx. And your, 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 um, obvious, the obvious question would be, uh, how did the man read the German ideology? And uh, uh, why, why bring Marx in at this point? I think the answer is that, that uh, uh, Marx's German ideology, which is an amazing book, uh, demonstrates that ideology is based on uh, linguistic mistakes. That's really that's really what Marx was saying. That's a very shorthand way of talking about. It. So I would argue that uh, that you you can learn from reading John Caldegate in a very concentrated way how collective ideological mistakes. In this case, the whole community thinks Caldegate was a bigamist, and how the performative power of lies may have big consequences. And, and it also teaches you that this happens especially when those lies are promulgated through the media, the metropolitan press, meaning the uh, uh, London Times, but also other uh, less reputable journals for Trollope, Fox News, radio talk shows for us. And an obvious example, you don't have to go far, Many people in the United States and elsewhere who believe that Barack Obama is a Muslim Kenyan born, not born in the United States, uh, which is a requirement to be president of the United States, uh, or, or so-called birthers. Uh, uh, we need to see your birth certificate. He was born in Hawaii and therefore is an American citizen. Uh, or even believe quite a few people that he's the Antichrist. There's a large percentage of American 
evangelical Republicans who think he's the Antichrist come back to earth. Justice Mrs. Bolton believes John Caldegate is an emissary straight from the devil, and the, that's a big feature of John Caldegate, the analysis of religious fanaticism uh, in Mrs. Bolton. And she's shown as sympathetically in the sense that she's doing what she thinks is right, and so are many such people in the United States. Another example is those people still who believe against all the evidence that humanly caused climate change is a hoax, that, uh, 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 that it's uh, concocted by the uh, scientists to fool people, or those who believe in a false analogy between household finances, which you, you're taught don't get over, uh, over, uh, over your head in debt, and national finances, very powerful, very powerful argument for saying the debt is to, uh, to the, the big national debt is disastrous. They're not the same. They're not the same partly because the government prints the money, and that you can't say that of any house, household. And uh, the final, and I really I did have done the whole thing. It's also important to remember that just unmasking demands word ideological delusions, which I would say uh, teaching John Caldegate would be a big help in teaching students to learn how to read the media, uh, it by no means cures you uh, 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 or anyone else of those mistaken beliefs. Uh, just to know that the manifold linguistic mistakes that have led to continuing the burning of fossil fuels has brought about irreversible climate change doesn't keep it from going on happening. 